Alright, fade in and fading out. I think we talked about transition in the other video. So it's almost a similar concept. It's just the same set of a uh, way of doing just like transition, but instead you want a, a video or, or, or an image or something that is, don't need to be a video. So for example, let's add let's add a video movie. This one again, all right. Say you want to. This, this is sound, so you don't worry about this. Let, let's just get this out of the way. Uh, let's just put on a a movie clip. All right. So you want fade in. Let me let me cut this really quick. So that way you can see it. Okay. You want to fade in here. And let's just say you want to fade out there. Yeah. Alright, so, so this is your clip. You want to fade in and you want to fade out. So, one way you can do this, you can add an image, a black image, right? You can, which you can create with paint, you know, and then just, just black it and then save it and then you just add that image in. Let's not save this. Like you can add that image in, you know, or you can Blender had this uh, color, so you go especially color. It's almost the same thing, you know, like adding an image. But instead, you know, you can change this color. Let's go up to the channel. Right. Let's just put it like right here. You can change this color. You see, notice how it's just dark. You know, there's no transition yet. Just duplicate this over this time. Right. So you wanna fade in. You select this, hold shift, select this, and then you can have grammar cross. Grammar cross in case you missed it. This one right here. Alright, and then you notice how you fade in. Right? And now let this fade out. You hold this, select, and hold shift, and you select this, right click, and then you do the same thing. I'm across. Now, you fade out. You see that? There you go. Now you have fade in and fade out. Now, now uh, this, this, this term also applies to sound. Okay, so, so this is not what you wanted it you want to fade in fade out the sound let's, let's add back that, that clip in. all right let's, let's delete this this is your sound okay and um, no this is the movie this is the sound you, you, can, you, you can tell about right here this is the sound okay so how you do fade in fade out with the sound you can Oh, by the way, I could you a cool trick. Uh, in case you misplace like this, you click onto this, hold shift and press S. It will just bind it back right here. Cool, huh? So in case you misplace, sometimes people do, you know. So anyway, so on your sound, you can see the wave if you want to see it. You just make sure you just click onto this button. Now you can see all the wave. All right. And you notice that the sound is at volume one. That means you know you could bump it up or you bump it down. You know, but uh, yeah, to in order to do the fade in, fade out for sound, you need to animate it. Uh, it's not it's not simply by putting effect. It's, it's animate. So, for instance, you want sometimes people might have two sound. Right, like one is talking and another one is music, and you want to start like you start the music going down like from right here. Then check this out. You want to start the the music down here, but you want to increase the volume of the speaking here. So let's just say this is the music, and your music is at one at this spot right here. All right, and you can tell this is talking. 
because you know this this activity going on. So you, this part right here, you want it to lower down. I would say let's just say 0.10 or maybe uh, 0 0.010. Actually, I like 0 0.050. Uh, 0 0.050. That that's oh, sorry. 0 0.05. Okay. Um, this should be good enough right here, right? So make sure you go over here and press I to enter a keyframe. You're pretty much animating it. And then you go all the way to the beginning. Or oh, to jump like this, you have to, uh, you can press page up, page down, it will jump. You know, it will jump to end to end. Anyway, you go all the way to the first keyframe. Right, and you will want it to be well, depending what you're doing. Are you fading down? If you're fading down, this should be at one, that'd be like normal, you know. And you want to insert a keyframe. Oops, you want to insert a keyframe, right? So that way, you're telling when it go to here, it should be point zero five. So watch, watch this. See, see this one right here? You notice changes right away when I move my frame. You, see, you notice that? It, it's, it's decreasing the volume down as you get closer to closer to the keyframe. So your music will continuous be 0 0.050 unless you unless you animate it again. So let's just say in the middle of the, say right here, you want to increase the volume again. You know, you always gotta make sure you put a keyframe in between. Otherwise, it will, you know, like it will get all messy. So what I mean by that, like let's just say from here, it's 50, 0.050. Okay, and you want all this part to be 0 0.050. In order to do that, you must enter a keyframe right, at least in advance. Let's just say right here. Okay, that's a starting point. So you put a keyframe. Okay, from here, you want to increase the keyframe, which is to 1, to normal. Right, it's still 0 0.50. Now you're gonna go 1. And then you're gonna enter a keyframe. So from here to here, it's gonna increase the keyframe. So what I mean by increasing the keyframe between, what will happen if you don't? Well, what will happen if you don't is that from here to here, it will try to reach to one. Like for example, right now, this is one. Say you want to, right here, you want to decrease, right? Uh, let's just say from here you want to decrease the volume, okay? Because you're still talking like at this point, you know, and you want to decrease just that short period. So if you don't enter a keyframe between between where you want to fade out, okay? It's just gonna drag the whole thing instead. Like so, for example, I put 0.50, okay? Because you wanna lower it down to 0.50 at this point okay let's put let's put keyframe right there all right so look what happened from here it's one right around here Where is it? and then when you when you keep going just slowly slowly until it hit that spot that you want you know, that's that's why you want to keep it consistent. See, this is consistent 50 until you to the point where where you want to fade out. That's because you put a keyframe in between and let it know that I want to start right here, not right here, but right here, and then go down. Okay, so you gotta keep that in mind that. That when it's, it's it's the same concept when you animate uh, 
you know a 3d figure and stuff that's the same concept that you might have a keyframe between if you want to keep some things in, in a consistent you know uh, animation but anyway so that's how you fade in and fade out so you have any question about that i think i'm pretty much done here but if you have any question just leave a comment below or uh, hopefully I can get back to you sooner on it and other than that take care oh yeah make sure you like and subscribe don't forget that yeah all right then peace